So now as we have discussed the principle of electrolysis, we will now see two laws which will determine the amount of a substance that is deposited on the individual electric. We saw that at anode, oxidation took place and at cathode, reduction occurs. So, on the anode side, we will get, so, anions Migrate cations migrate. Now it migrates and discharged. That means it is deposited on the surface of the electrode. So it is deposited on the surface of the Electrode. So now we have to determine what is the amount of substance that is deposited on the individual electrode. For that we have to know, we have to know two laws. First one is Faraday's law of electrolysis and we will do the first law. Faraday's first law we have second law. Faraday's first law states that when an, uh, when an electric current is passed through an electrolyte, the amount of substance that is deposited on the respective electrode is directly proportional to the amount of electric current that we are passing through. That means, suppose um, uh, in, in case of sodium chloride or if we take some other examples, suppose copper sulfate. It was solution of copper sulfate. Since it is equals, so at the cathode, both we saw both Cu2 plus H plus both are cations, so both will migrate towards the cathode. But that element which is present more in the electrochemical series or the uh, ion which has higher standard reduction potential that will be discharged at the cathode. So this is copper who has a positive potential value that means it will be reduced at the cathode and copper will be discharged at the cathode. So copper will be deposited on the surface of the cathode. So, the amount of copper that is deposited on the surface of the cathode, suppose that is W, it will be directly proportional to the amount of electric current that is passed through it. So, now we know that uh, when an so where Z is called electrochemical electrochemical equivalent Z is called electrochemical equivalent and here I can substitute current with I into T because we know it equals to by T so this is your Faraday's first law of electrolysis where the amount of substance that is deposited is directly proportional to the amount of electric current that you are passing through the electrolyte. Now what is Z? How can I define Z? Z is the amount of uh, weight that will be deposited on the electrode or the equivalent weight that will be deposited on the electrode when 1 ampere of current is passed through one second. Here we will discuss about an important thing. Charge on, charge on one electron. You know it is 1.602 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb. Now, if I calculate the charge 
or one mole of electron. I am calculating the charge on one mole of electron, which will be equal to six point zero two into ten to the power minus nineteen into six point zero two three into ten to the power twenty three. That is the Avogadro number. This will give you a value nine six five zero zero coulomb. That is one Faraday. That's why this is how the Faraday's value has come. Okay. So now, if I take one reaction like this one only, so this copper ion is taking two electrons to get deposited as copper element. So that means copper ion is taking up two Faraday's of charge to deposit. To deposit. One gram equivalent, one gram equivalent of copper. So, copper ion requires two Faraday's of charge to deposit one gram equivalent of copper. That is one zero eight grams of copper. So, here, if uh, Z, I told you that. Z is the amount of substance that is deposited when I is equals to one ampere, time is equals to one second. So therefore, W will be equal to Z. Okay, that means at one coulomb, Z gram equivalent of the substance will be deposited. So, so two into Nine six five zero zero coulomb deposits the equivalent weight of copper. So let that be E. Therefore, one coulomb will deposit E by two into nine six five zero zero, which is two Faraday. Now, what is one coulomb? One coulomb is the charge which is depositing Z. So I can write Z is equal to E by 2F. 2F is for this particular reaction. This is for this particular reaction. I am writing 2F. Okay. So in general, we can write that Z is equal to the electrovalent, electro equivalent. By the Faraday's constant. By the this can be the atomic weight as well. So this is how I can find out the value of Z, and we can substitute that in this place. In the sums, uh, ampere will be given, time will be given. So I can calculate how much of this copper is. Deposited when some amount of electric current is passed through uh, some t seconds, so I can easily get the value. So this is your first law of Faraday's in electrolysis.